What is poppin' my honey boo-boos? It's your girl Des and today in this video, you already know I got Dojo, big chillin'. A lot of you guys always ask like, where's Dojo? And when I'm recording like me, it's like y'all don't even know but Dojo be like right here. Like he's always right next to me. Like, Thank you for being my biggest, my rock. You know, when when I feel like I have nobody to lean on, I know I have you, Doji. Today in this video, I just vlogged a few days throughout my week and ended up deciding that I'll put all of it in one vlog because I feel like y'all enjoy the longer videos. So that's exactly what we're gonna get popping in today's video. But I also wanna announce the $100 giveaway winner. If y'all missed out on my New York vlog or if you didn't watch it all the way to the end, then you might have missed out on the $100 cash giveaway but don't even trip because I'm gonna be doing way more giveaways coming up very soon but our winner is Abby M huge thank you for your sweet comment I'm so glad my words could help you out I'll put her comment right here for y'all to read but yeah huge shout out to you and I hope you're able to get some good kush maybe a good meal or whatever you want with that $100 and I hope it just makes your day a little bit brighter it was recently my grandma's birthday so you already know I had to take her out how to treat her right how to turn up one time for the one time so without any further ado let's go get it popping boo Whoosh. But before we get it popping, I want to ask you guys to please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out so much more than you guys know. And drop a comment down below letting me know if y'all are ready for the spooky season. Because after this video, it's going to be lots of Halloween content, you guys. I have my little Halloween little theme shirt on. So yeah, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know any spooky content y'all want to be or invite me to your Halloween party down below because I don't have no plans for Halloween. I'm thinking of having like a Halloween party on YouTube live on like a live stream here on YouTube. So yeah, um, if that's something y'all would be interested in, then be sure to let you girl know because I'm trying to turn up with y'all. But now, without any further ado, let's go get it popping, boo. Wait, this is actually kind of cute. What do you guys think? Extra? It's kind of cute though. It's kind of giving. It feels like summer still. I love it. I'm wearing my little Converse. I've never worn these shirts before. I've had them for a minute. I think they cost like 20 bucks. My grandma's going to be like, put some clothes on. But like, what you mean? I got her a cute card. I wrote grandma on it. Look at how cute this is. It's all in Spanish. And I wrote all in Spanish. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is a wine that she likes. I might be wrong, but hopefully she ends up trying it and liking it. I'm going to get her these beautiful bouquet of flowers. There's this spot. I don't think I'm going to vlog there, actually, because I vlogged there before, and they didn't really f*** with it. They were like... They were not feeling it, so I'm not gonna vlog. <gasps> yeah, I'm not gonna vlog them. So I got the flowers for her. I accidentally didn't go to the flower shop I always go to. So these ones, I was like, okay. I went to the wrong spot. Usually they wrap it like kind of nicer, so I'm kind of sad about that. But these are still really nice. I think she'll still like them. And I tried to go to a gas station to get lottery tickets. And I didn't know you have to pay cash for lottery tickets. And I didn't have cash. And I only have my credit card on me. And you can't even use a credit card at an ATM. So, I just drove here. Because I'm already late. It's like already about to be 12 o'clock. So, let me run upstairs and give this to her. Like I said, I'm not going to record it. Because I want her genuine happy reaction you know but yeah i'll see y'all when we go to breakfast my hair all, like, all over the place cheers to my grandma's birthday i got a chimango um uh, what is this mimosa and she got guava try it Thank you. 
Chug it. No, okay, chug it. This is so good. Yeah. You want to try mine? I like this one a lot. I don't think you'll like mine. I don't like guava. Not at all. It's not that bad, but this one's really good. You like this one? Anything with tahini? Yeah. Anything with tahini. Over here, you are more than welcome. We got a breakfast vegan burrito. And I got chilaquiles, which are vegetarian. Looks so good. She got a Bloody Mary. <gasps> Do not let this glass serve as an inspiration to call your ex as a pathetic attempt to get back together. Some very fine barley and hops been sacrificed to make this one of a kind brew. Show some respect. <laughs> Don't call your ex. Oh my god. We were just talking about him too. Oh my god. That's crazy. Thank you. I'm almost done with my burrito. This is delicious. How is your chiraquiles? They need sour cream. I'm gonna do a, a plate. What are you gonna make? A faux bowl? Yeah. A ramen bowl. A ramen bowl? Okay, you guys. So instead, I got a mug. And these are my colors I'm gonna go with. This is my grandma's colors. She also got some stamps. So let's see what I make. Okay, you guys, so here's my mug progress. I kind of messed up right there, but I did a dripping effect because I tried to use all these stencils. None of, them, none of them worked. So this is what it's looking like. I just like did little drips. The inside looks pretty cool, actually. But yeah, YOLO. That's just what I went with. Hopefully it looks cool. I think once we bake it and stuff, we actually don't get to pick it up until like a week from now. But in a week when we get it, it's going to be all shiny and glossy and really pretty. So it's not going to look dull like this. But for now it does. And then my grandma, she put little dragonflies. She's going in. Y'all could tell. <laughs> You're concentrated, huh? That's good. Yeah, this is really fun. It's kind of like therapeutic, just listening to the music. And there's a lot of kids here, but it's a vibe. Okay, y'all. So, not me dying from these cuts, or what do you call it? These holes. We came to the beach, me and my friend, because, look at, we had a little picnic. I dropped off my grandma. She was okay tired, but I think I kind of want to like turn up more, you know, but this is like a chill, t like for now. <laughs> What's poppin' my honey boo boo? So it is a different day than the vlog you just watched with my grandma. And I actually went and picked up our creations from the little spot that we went to because you already know they had to like bake our goodies and yeah basically it took like a week um and boom this is my mug it's so pretty look at the inside like whoa vibes as soon vibes and then i love the outside and i like how i painted it black first because if it was white it would have been like weird but i love that i painted it black i honestly think i did a really good job i mean it's not perfect like right here i wish i tried a little bit harder to make it like more perfect i really didn't care i just wanted it to be like fun but i do like how you could see like the drips my grandma's i'm gonna have to give this to her this one she's supposed to have like chopsticks right there where the little circle is she said this was a dragonfly um cute oh yeah it is th that one looks like a dragonfly 
I think it's super cute. I like the colors she used. It reminds me of like a fall kind of vibe. But I am here at Sephora. I really need some shampoo and a few makeup products and I need face wash. I need like things from Sephora so I really need them. So I'm just going to go to Sephora and then I'll show you guys what I get. Um, I think they have Apple Pay, so I'll be good. And then after that, I need to go to the grocery store so I can make some dinner tonight. So I'll go to the grocery store and get a few things. The only other thing I wanted to do was get content. Um, earlier today, I went to my P.O. box and I got a bunch of packages. I actually um, unboxed them with you guys on my Instagram Live. So shout out to everybody who joined. There's a lot of products I got from companies that I need to make content with. So today... I wanted to do that after I do these errands. So it should be a jam-packed day full of getting things done. Um, at least I hope. So without any further ado, let's go to Sephora, boo. I made it back from Sephora and I also ended up taking some pictures right over there. Yep, in that corner. And a lot of people were passing by and giving me a little glance, you know, just a quick little, oh, didn't know you were over there in the corner taking pictures. You can see the little, and then, you know, they kept walking. So it was a little, it was a little awkward, but like, it was fine. It wasn't too shabby, but tell me why I didn't like hardly any of the pictures. I'll probably end up posting one because I need to post something because I haven't posted nothing in a while. But to be honest, I didn't like any of those pictures. So I'm thinking of changing because I did bring like an outfit that a company sent me that I need to take content in. And I'm thinking of changing so that way I could get content in like a different outfit and stuff. And like, I like taking pictures during golden hour. And when I was taking pictures right now, it was like prime sun in my eyes so that's probably why i didn't like the pictures because the lighting wasn't the best it was like too bright which yes too bright exists y'all know if y'all take pictures you know golden hour is key to good insta pics so i'm kind of just been chilling been on my phone i should be making tiktoks and i instagram reels but i don't know all that video content I like YouTube, you know, I'm not I'm not the best when it comes to reels and TikToks. I've been trying and I know I could do better, but you know, practice makes perfect. But anyways, let me just show you guys what I got from Sephora. I spent like $300. Wait, let me see how much I spent. $350. Bucks. Yeah, um, every time I go to Sephora, I don't go back for months. And it's been a, like a month or two since I've gone to Ulta. So you can't trust a girl in Ulta or Sephora. She gonna break her bang. She gonna break the wallet. She gonna break. Why are there so many cars? Oh, because I'm in a parking lot. Okay, anyways. Um, I was looking. Okay, y'all know I, earlier I told y'all I needed to re-up on some face wash. Usually I use the Murad face wash. But even though I be using their expensive face wash, I still have acne. So I was up in there and I was really like looking at all the skincare. I was like, hmm, should I really buy the same one? Should I try something new? I wasn't sure what to do. But then this wonderful lady came on over. She was a worker. And she's like, hey, can I tell you something? And she had bomb skin and she was like i recently switched over to this and my skin has been so bomb so she was hyping it up she told me all these amazing things about it and they just so happened to have this kit where it comes with a full size um face moisturizer it has a little mini cleanser and like a little mini um clay mask so she was like this is good to start off because you know you get everything at like a discount rather than buying all of them separately so i was like you know what i'm gonna try it out so this was 74 dollars, but pretty good deal because you get a full size um cream and for the cream alone i already know it's like 60 bucks so i was like you know what let's try it out and then she told me that for sunscreen she uses this which is the tatcha same brand um sunscreen this was expensive y'all this was like 60 something dollars i didn't know it was that much until the lady scanned it at the register and i was like what the heck i probably wouldn't have gotten it because 60 dollars for a sunscreen I mean, like, I be spending money on dumb stuff. Which, actually, this isn't dumb. Because, hopefully, like, my skin gets clear like hers. 
but I don't know. We're going to try it out. We're going to see if this $60 sunscreen makes my acne go away magically. I mean, fingers crossed, but we'll see. And then also I needed a new shampoo because I ran out of my shampoo. Usually I use the Redken shampoo, but I know that the Moroccan oil is also a good one. So I just decided to pick it up. It was like 26 bucks, kind of expensive. Um, and then I got this, oh, Lady Gaga bronzer. I wanted the bronzer by Mario, whatever his name is. You know who I'm talking about. But um, the bronzer shade that I wanted was sold out. So they only had like the really dark bronzer shades. And I'm a little light skin, so a dark bronzer shade won't look good on me. So I was like not sure what to pick. And the same lady who recommended this also recommended Lady Gaga. Um, she said all of her makeup is really good for your skin. And so I was like, you know what? You're saying it's good for the skin? Let me check it out. This was like around $40 for the bronzer. Um, it looks like it's very much sealed closed. But I want to open it to show you guys. I ended up getting light level 3. And I love the packaging. Okay, Lady Gaga. Ooh, girl. And that's the bronzer. I like how it's like pretty light because I don't want a dark bronzer. I feel like I have a bronzer that's really dark and it just, I don't know, sometimes it's too much. I need like something a little lighter like this. So hopefully this isn't too light and hopefully ends up looking good. I feel like it will. And then I re-upped on my favorite eyeliner. This is my ultimate holy grail eyeliner it's the better than sex eyeliner and it really is better than sex and then i re-upped on my favorite huda beauty lip liner this one is in terracotta that is the shade terracotta and i love this lip liner i always end up rebuying it and if i'm not mistaken i think this one do you sharpen it i don't remember oh yeah this one you sharpen <gasps> no yes this is why I love this because look you could twist the bottom and it makes it go up or you could like twist the bottom and make it you know go down I just like it because um, sometimes when I'm out my lip liner will be a nub and I don't have a sharpener with me so what's really cool about this one is that you don't need a sharpener it just twisty twist and then I re-upped on my favorite lipstick. I remember I had this lipstick for like two days. I fell in love with it and then I lost it. So this is in Empress. I've literally showed you guys on a... I think it was actually a Plug Play YouTube episode that I showed you guys. But yeah, the one where I went to San Francisco. So I got it again because I lost it. And this is just a buttery, super cute lipstick, especially with some brown lip liner or even the terracotta one I got. Mm, so cute. And then I re-upped on my favorite NARS foundation. I haven't had this foundation for months. I've been trying out new foundations, but every time I try a new foundation, I've just been disappointed because I'm like, girl, I can still see my acne. So I'm really excited because I got a new NARS foundation. I hope I got the right color. I got the color Fiji. I mean, you know how like one thing looks like good in the store, but then you go home and you're like, oh no, that's not my color. I feel like that always happens to me, but then I'd be too lazy to go back to the store to like return it or exchange it. So I end up just keeping it. <laughs> and I always do that with like the wrong color foundation. So let's hope this is not too pale, not too dark, but just right. Um, but yeah, so that's all the stuff I got, y'all. I swear I needed everything. I needed it all. And shout out to my honey boo boo who helped me with all the recommendations because she also gave me these two freebies. These are the Tatcha samples of the melting eye cream and the overnight repair cream. I want to smoke a drink. So I got to make decisions. I want Chipotle. <laughs> I don't know why Chipotle sounds really good right now. But, like, I hate eating because then my makeup gets all messed up. Like, I look cute right now. I'm ready for pictures right now. But then I'm hungry. <gasps> I don't know what to do with my life. Um, I should probably just go to the grocery store and then figure it out. So, let go to the grocery store, unfortunately. You don't eat me like a mango. 
<laughs> okay, you guys, what's popping? Sorry, there was like <coughs> kind of something in my throat, but um, I look terrible. Um, I was having a good day today. Well, actually, no. I was having a good day today, and then I got really bad news, and I feel like that bad news just like... I have so much things to do, but I just didn't want to do anything. But, um... What part of that bad news is that my childhood cat has cancer and has a really large tumor um, that's leaning against her lungs so she can't breathe and she's basically going to die any second, any day. And I think there's a date to put her to sleep this weekend um, and today is Wednesday. So um, we got the news last night so I decided to come over to my grandma's house and I brought her some flowers. I found these really colorful ones at Northgate. And I'm like, since her day is probably not bright either. Um, yeah. The other news that I got that was also not the best this morning was a call from my lawyer. It's kind of a long story, but to make it short, I have court on Monday. And I've been fighting my DOI case for two years. And it's so annoying because... The whole reason why I hired a lawyer was because I was not high while I was driving. My car smelled. That was it. I didn't even have no in the car or nothing like that. So I was fighting this case and stuff and I have court on Monday and my it doesn't look good. I'm really nervous for that, you know, and I don't know. I just didn't do really anything today. I just kind of like laid down and slept and I didn't even sleep. I was just like in my head like stressing and I was just like, bro... <laughs> This is not fun. But I decided to get my favorite food, ceviche. And like I said, come to my grandma's house. So I also have the ceviche that's down there. So y'all can take a sneak peek. And then I also have the little ceramic stuff that we made. I showed you guys earlier um, in the vlog the other day. So yeah, I'm going to bring this all to her. And I'm going to show you guys my kitty cat. And I want to get saying goodbye to her on camera. So at least I'll have this footage forever because... Dang, it's just so crazy because this cat known me since I was like f five years old. And even though I have Dojo, um, Dojo has only known me since I was a young adult, like 18. Which is still dope, still young. But it's like nobody could replace, like that relationship with me and this cat right now. Her name is Oli. She's a black cat. Um like i'll never have that relationship with any animal again because our relationship goes way back you know what i mean i'm talking i feel like i'm talking about her like she's a human but, but y'all know what i mean if you have um animals um but anyways let's go upstairs and see what's popping to my grandma oh she's already purring Hmm. I didn't know which one you like. I got a lot of oh, don't do that. What? This? Look like a fish. Do it, Luna. I'm going to teach her how to do that. Do the fish. Do the fish. <laughs> She's doing it, not me. Say what's popping. What if her first words are what's popping? What's popping? Yeah. Like, actually, no. Or when she says honey boo boo instead of mom. She says that, 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 that. She's going to say honey boo 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 boo. More? I stopped and she goes, ah, like, Good who night. said you can stop? Double doof. Should I do the no glasses or glasses? I don't know. But I ended up just having some family time 
and I didn't vlog much of it because me and my family are really busy and <laughs> sometimes bump heads so we don't get along I mean we don't get along we don't get together like that often and you know what they say death brings people together so it definitely did yesterday and I just wanted to really cherish that moment with my family honestly I feel like she's in a lot of pain even me petting her looking back at the footage I could tell she was in pain so it's just so sad to see her like that like oh, even watching and editing this vlog I started shedding tears like it's just a really tough time especially for my mom and my grandma me and my sister even my aunt because my aunt lives with my grandma so they're so used to seeing her and feeding her and here comes doji but you know we shall let oli rest in peace thank you for everybody and their good wishes because i also posted on my instagram story what was going on with my cat oli and a lot of you guys were saying really sweet things so thank you so much for all the blessings the hugs good energy because it really goes a really long way right now i actually have a dentist appointment and pretty exciting because i'm actually getting veneers literally like right now in the next 20 minutes so if you guys have any questions that have anything to do with my teeth journey or veneers getting veneers the process anything like that be sure to drop your comments and your questions down below in a comment because in my next video i will be answering all of your guys's questions and taking you with me because i will be vlogging and taking you guys with me on my veneers journey so y'all will see me transform <laughs> Do not forget to stay lit, stay up, and stay positive. Double deuce until next time.